design philosophy, Leclerc versus Leopard to no war machine has more clearly expressed a national military philosophy and a main battle tank dot in Europe. No pair of tanks illustrates the differences military design thinking more clearly than the French Leclerc and the German Leopard II. Both of these giants of steel were born in the tense context of the Cold War. They faced the same threat from the East dot however, the way each nation chose to deal with that threat was completely opposite. This led to the design philosophy so different that they were almost opposites. The Leclerc tank is a high-tech predator dot it is slim, sophisticated and built around three key elements speed, automation and advanced electronics dot it is designed to strike first dot it moves fast dot and it disappears. Before the enemy can react, a Leopard 2, by contrast, is the embodiment of perfect technical balance dot it combines overwhelming firepower, comprehensive armour protection and high operational reliability in all battlefield conditions. Both are extremely effective fighting machines, but each reflects a completely different strategic vision of how to win modern warfare. Birth and national symbol of early acute Selec tank is the clearest demonstration of France's commitment to pursuing the path of self-sufficiency in defence technology developed by Giant Industries now part of KNDS France at the end of the 20th century. The Leclerc was born to replace the outdated Amex 30 tank line. The goal was not only to modernise the armoured force, but also to affirm France's technological position in the field of armoured warfare. The name Leclerc was named after Marshal Philip L. Clerc de Hoclerc. He was a legendary general of France in World War II. He led the resistance forces to regain freedom for the country. This tank is not just a weapon, dot it is also a symbol of national pride and long-term strategic vision. Dot it was officially commissioned into the French army in 1992 and it immediately caused a stir in the Western military community. Because the Leclerc was one of the first tanks in the world equipped with a fully automatic loading system that reduced the crew size from 43 dot at the same time, it increased the rate of fire and combat effectiveness to unprecedented levels. If you thought the Abrams tank was the backbone of NATO armoured power, perhaps it was time to reconsider that view because the Leopard to a product of Cold War urgency was the machine specifically. Designed to confront the overwhelming numerical superiority the Soviet Union dot at the time, the Warsaw Pact armoured force was nearly three times larger than NATO. The Leopard was born to bridge. That gap with superior quality dot it is not just a tank dot it is a technical statement, a statement that quality can beat quantity dot in fact. Many of the groundbreaking improvements on the Leopard were learned by the United States and applied to the M1 Abrams tank series. From the suspension system to the armour protection layout, with its irresistible firepower and modern technical platform, the Leopard quickly rose to become the peak, the predator on the battlefield dot and to this day it remains the reference standard for all modern main battle tanks. Design, size and weight at the heart of the Leopard 2's design was a perfect balance between three elements, protection, mobility and firepower, where many tanks of the era sacrificed one of these, three to optimise the other. The Leopard 2 was designed to harmonise all three dot no trade dash offs, dot no compromises but it is this balance that makes it one of the most versatile and effective armour. Platforms ever built dot it can fight in jungles dot cross hills, enter urban areas dot or hold the line dot and maintain high performance in all environments. The Leclerc tank has a compact yet powerful design, optimised for modern armoured warfare dot with a 120mm main gun barrel aimed straight forward. A hole is about 30 to and a half feet long not including the gun barrel. Whole length alone is 20 to and a half feet. The width of the vehicle is about 11 and a half feet. The height to the turret roof is 8 and a half feet. These dimensions not only give the Leclerc a small cross sectional area, reducing its vulnerability to bullets, they also increase its mobility, allowing it to move flexibly over. Variety of terrain. It is one of the lightest Western main battle tanks. Combat weight varies depending on the version. A first version, a first series weighs about 54 and a half tons. Later version, such as Series 2 and Series 11 weighed 56.3 tons and 57.4 tons respectively to added armor and upgraded electronics. 
The latest version, the Leopard XLR, is part of Spain's Scorpion modernization program. It has a combat weight of about 57 tons. This weight increases due to the integration of customizable armor modules, advanced electronics, and real time battlefield connectivity. This makes the vehicle adaptable to both conventional and asymmetric warfare. In terms of size, both the Leopard to a 7 and the latest version A have a massive and powerful presence on the battlefield. The overall length, including the gun barrel, is about 36 feet, the width is about 13 and a half feet. The height to the top of the turret is nine and a half feet. These figures reflect not only the firepower and the dense protection system, but also the ability to integrate modern electronics and crew survival features. The increase in size compared to the earlier versions is a direct result of the addition of additional armor modules, enhanced situational awareness systems, and active protection systems, especially in the 8 version designed to deal with modern threats such as high altitude projectiles or anti-tank guided missiles. The Leopard to a 7 has a combat weight of about 68 tons due to the integration of additional armor and enhanced protection systems. The 8 version, although equipped with more technology, slightly lighter dotted ranges from 65 to 67 tons depending on the configuration and whether the trophy active protection system is installed or not. Armour, protection and mobilitive armour and protection system, the Leclerc tank reflects the French philosophy. Survival does not depend on mass, but on technology and intelligent design. The focus of the Leclerc defence system is modular composite armour. This armour can be replaced or upgraded on the battlefield. It helps the vehicle adapt to changing threats. The basic structure combines welded steel with ceramic and titanium inserts. This creates an optimal protection to weight ratio. It is capable of resisting both kinetic energy piercing and shape charge rounds. Although the specific thickness, the armour remains classified. The level of protection, the Leclerc is considered to be on par with Western rivals such as the Leopard tool or M1 to Abrams. In addition, the vehicle is equipped with a protection system against nuclear, biological and chemical weapons, the automatic fire suppression system with electronic jamming equipment, the most prominent of which is the Gallic self-defense system that it is capable of launching smoke grenades, infrared decoys and jamming devices that disrupt the enemy's aiming system that in the XLR version. The Leclerc is also enhanced to protect against mines and improvised explosive devices. This makes it effective in asymmetric warfare environments where the threat often comes from the ground rather than from enemy tanks. Leopard to uses a multi-layer armor design. The armor layers are arranged with gaps to reduce the effectiveness of shape charge and armor piercing shells. This complex armor structure is made up of steel plates of different hardness. They are combined with elastic materials and non-metallic components. There is much speculation that Leopard 2 uses Burlington armor. This is a composite armor developed by the United Kingdom and shared with West Germany during the Cold War. From the F5 version onwards, additional armor modules are attached to the front of the turret. The goal was to increase the ability to withstand frontal attacks taught in upgraded versions. The turret roof is cut open to install a new armor module. This provides better protection against high altitude weapons such as javelin missiles. The 7 Plus version is also equipped with a comprehensive passive protection system that it helps the crew survive against mines. Improvised explosive devices or anti-tank fire dot when participating in urban combat. Leopard can be equipped with optional modular armor packages. It help increase survivability in confined environments and full of unexpected threats. The design of Leopard to follows the principle of zoning dot areas with a high risk of explosion are separated from the crew compartment. Pressure relief panels on the top of the ammunition compartment will direct the explosion outward. Thanks to that, the crew can survive if the ammunition is detonated. The vehicle is also equipped with a Draeger turbocharger system. It helps protect the crew from nuclear, biological and chemical threats, thereby ensuring continuous combat capability in all environmental conditions. In terms of maneuverability, the engine and transmission system are key factors that make Leclerc one of the most flexible main battle tanks in the world. The vehicle is equipped with a French-developed SACMV X1500 turbocharged diesel engine with a capacity 
1,500 horsepower that is combined with an SSMESM 500 the automatic transmission with five forward gears and to reverse gears. This powertrain allows the 60 ton vehicle to reach a maximum speed of about 45 miles per hour dot it can accelerate from 0 to 20 miles per hour in just 6 seconds. This figure is on par with many light armoured vehicles. The Hydro Pneumatic Suspension System helps the Leclerc to smoothly overcome rough terrain. It also allows for adjustment of the vehicle's ground clearance. This increases the ability to hide and stabilise when firing. The range on the road with fuel in the vehicle is about 340 miles. This can be extended even further with the addition of additional fuel tanks. Thanks to its high power to weight ratio and advanced suspension, the Leclerc is particularly suited to rapid maneuver operations, combined arms operations and high intensity armoured warfare, where speed and accuracy must be maintained even in the most complex environments. The Leopard 2 is no slouch. Either dot the vehicle is equipped with a 12 cylinder, Water cooled them to UMB 873 diesel engine rated at 1500 horsepower. With over 21 horsepower per ton, this 73 ton machine can still reach top speed of 43 miles per hour. An incredible feat for a machine of this weight. Crew and we ponder regarding the crew. The Leclerc only needs three people the commander, the gunner, and the driver. This is thanks to the advanced automatic loading system. The driver sits on the front left side of the hold dot the gunner and the commander sit in the turret dot the gunner is on the right. The commander is on the left. This arrangement not only reduces the number of crew, it also reduces the volume inside the vehicle, helping to reduce the cross-sectional area dot this increases survivability on the battlefield. Automatic loading system allows for a rate of fire of up to 12 rounds per minute. This allows the crew to concentrate on tactical tasks without having to worry about manual loading. Regarding the observation capability, the Leclerc is equipped with an independent stabilised panoramic sighting system for the commander. This system allows for day and night observation that it helps identify targets in all directions with a 360 degree viewing angle. Thermal images on the site are displayed directly on the screen inside the vehicle. This helps the commander to keep an eye on the situation without having to stick his head out. Leopard to a 7 Plus is also equipped with a night vision system for the driver both on and rear. The vehicle also has an advanced electronic system which helps with long range. Reconnaissance dot in terms of weapons. Both tanks embody the armoured warfare thinking of each country. They are not only for survival but also for domination of the battlefield. Leclerc is equipped with the main gun Jaya CN 120. 120 smoothbore. The barrel length reaches 50 to rounds. This is much longer than that of Western tanks of the same period. Dot it helps to increase muzzle velocity and armor penetration. A special feature is the automatic loading system located in the rear compartment of the turret. Dot it allows continuous fire of 12 rounds per minute. The reserve magazine holds 20 to rounds. The gun can fire the full range of NATO standard ammunition, including a PFSDS and heat rounds dot in addition. The vehicle also has a coaxial 12.7mm machine gun. On the roof, there is also a 7.62mm machine gun, usually operated by the commander. They are used against infantry and air targets. The digital fire control system integrates a stabilised panoramic sight for the commander. The gunner has a stabilised two axis sight. Both have a thermal camera and a laser. R-A-N-G-F-I-N-D-O dot thanks to that. The Leclerc possesses real hunt and kill ability dot the vehicle can track, lock onto targets and fight accurately even on the move. This ability is maintained in all weather and light conditions. The Leopard 2 uses the Rhine Metal 120 smoothbore main gun. This type of gun was later also equipped on the M1 Abrams tank dot it as to versions. EL44 or the modern L50-5 dot the Leopard 2's fire control system is one of the most advanced in the world dot it includes a ballistic computer, a laser rangefinder and a thermal camera. The level of advancement is on par with the M1 Abrams dot this allows the Leopard to hit its target with the first shot dot day and night even through enemy smoke even when the target is moving. Ryan Metal's DM53 and DM63 rounds reportedly penetrate 750mm of steel armour at a range of 1.2 miles 
and fired from the L55 barrel. Ryan Metal has also developed an upgrade package that allows the Leopard to, to fire the Israeli Lahot anti-tank guided missile. This missile can destroy targets at ranges of up to 20,000 feet from the main gun barrel. The vehicle is also equipped with two machine guns, one mounted coaxially, the other mounted on an anti-aircraft mount. The 7 Plus version also has a remote-controlled gun turret. This turret can mount a variety of weapons. Among them is the Browning M to HP 50 caliber, famous for its terrifying destructive power. At the end of this episode, we have explored two of the most powerful war machines in Europe, the Leclerc and the Leopard. Each one is the embodiment of a military philosophy, a strategic vision, and a different technological platform. So which tank do you think is more impressive? Which military machines would you like us to explore in future episodes? If you'd been lucky enough to see any of these tanks in real life, even operated, one share your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from our channel. And while you're waiting for the next episode, why not check out another one of our playlists? Thanks for watching. See you next time.